If a defendant pays damages to a plaintiff, contribution and indemnity are two ways that the defendant can seek reimbursement from a third party for some or all of the amount paid. The court explained the difference between these two remedies and who's allowed to seek them in Slocum v. Donahue. Robert Donahue pleaded guilty to vehicular homicide for a car accident that killed 18-month-old Todd Slocum. Todd's parents, Lee and Cheryl Slocum, then brought a civil negligence action in Massachusetts State Court against Donahue and his wife, Dolores. The Donahues denied negligence and filed a third-party complaint against Ford Motor Company, the manufacturer of their car, alleging that Ford was negligent and had breached the implied warranties of merchantability and fitness for a particular purpose. The Donahues claimed that the accident occurred because a defective floor mat in their car caused the car's power brakes to malfunction. They sought contribution and indemnity from Ford. Before the case went to trial, the Slocums and Ford entered a settlement agreement, under which the Slocums released any claims against Ford in exchange for $150,000. Ford then moved for summary judgment on the Donahue's claims, asserting that Ford's good-faith settlement agreement with the Slocums had extinguished the Donahue's claim for contribution. Ford also argued that there wasn't a basis for the Donahue's indemnity claim. The trial court granted Ford's motion and dismissed the Donahue's third-party complaint. The Donahue's appealed to the Massachusetts Appeals Court.